Hi there movie fans and welcome to another edition of Movies. And this time I'm going to see if I can hit the back of the net with a review of Next Goal Wins. This story was originally a documentary called Next Goal Wins which was out in 2014 and I did manage to watch it in 2015 and I loved it. It's a really, really great documentary. If, if you like this movie, then the documentary shows you the real footage of this amazing tale. This is exactly the same story, but being made into a drama slash comedy by Taiko Waititi, who is known for What We Do in the Shadows, and Our Flag Means Death, and Jojo Rabbit. Now it's a true story of a soccer team, American Samoa, whose World Cup antics had them as the worst team in World Cup history. And there's the famous game where they lost a World Cup qualifier to Australia, 31-0. Yes, you heard that correct, 31 goals to zero. This with the American Samoa being recognised as the joint lowest ranked national team in the FIFA World Rankings. This team had not yet managed to score a single goal in its history. Now it stars Michael Fassbender as Thomas Rongan. And he's a football coach out of a job after failing to qualify for the World Cup with the United States under 20s national soccer team. He's split from his wife, who's played by Elizabeth Moss. He's got a bit of a drink problem and anger issues. And at a loose end, he flies halfway across the world to coach American Samoa in 2011, inheriting a bunch of misfits. He has to find a way to teach them how to play better football. Now, when I say misfits, we have all sorts of odd characters, but I suppose really on such a small island in the middle of the Pacific, there's not a lot of talent to choose from. So you're very limited with who you can find, even though they may not be fit for purpose. There's one guy whose only skill seems to be able to slide tackle. And to be honest, he can't do that properly. This has some of the most amusing scenes when in training and he gets to see how bad these guys actually are and he knows he's got his work cut out here. If this story was in today's world, you would say it's ticked off all the boxes. You have most diversities covered, so it's very PC. But this wasn't designed to be PC. The team was limited by the amount of people they could use having a very small population. It really is just a load of misfits who want to play football, and I do mean that respectfully. Strange as it was, the one bit in the movie that I found the funniest wasn't actually about football, but it was about Tavita's desk with the computer keyboard and mouse on it. But, you know, maybe that tells you something about my sense of humour. I mean, it is quite a funny film, and I suppose, as it's a true story, it's funnier as these things did actually happen. But overall, I feel it should have been funnier. I actually prefer the documentary. Now, I know you can't compare a documentary to a movie, but I just did. I prefer the real-life characters telling their story, rather than a load of actors trying to portray what happened. The documentary has more heart and soul, with sadness and euphoria thrown in. And none of it's fake. And the movie, well it has more gags in it, and pokes fun at them all. It's up to you to choose which you prefer, both are very good in their own right. Now Fassbender's okay, and the rest of the cast is fine. And it has lots of lovable characters. It's a reasonably fun film, although I do feel it's a little bit thin in content. It's not deep and meaningful, it's just a, 
a light-hearted comedy that's that's quite simple. We've all seen this sort of thing before, you know. With you know, the cliche is a sports team of misfits and underdogs trying to overcome the odds. So there's nothing new here. It's done well enough to be entertaining. There's no Oscars given out here, obviously. It's just slightly above average fun, and it will appeal to all ages. So basically, it's a good fun movie, with the feel-good factor built in, as these misfits try to overcome adversity with resilience and a lot of heart. And that's it, really. The underdog story again. And if you don't know the story of the actual team, it will educate you and hopefully it will make you want to seek out the documentary and see that the real people that this is all about. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you want to leave any comments, please do. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to our channel. Tell all your friends, spread the word, let's get those subscriber numbers up. And look out for more of our amateur movie reviews soon.